Hey, this is Chris Martin with FreeFX Tutorials, and today I want to talk to you about setting up proxy objects in your dynamic simulations. So I've got this scene set up, and I've got one of the model cars that comes with Cinema 4D. And what I want to do is just have this thing crash into the wall and have it deform properly. So the first thing you might think of is, well, I'll just put a rigid body on the car and have it run into the wall and that's definitely doable but depending on how intense your model is or how detailed your model is that could take some time so it's actually better to work with proxy objects so if I come over here to the car and I turn on my proxy object you'll see that this is nothing more than a sort of a form-fitting cube. I took a cube, I made it editable, and then I just pushed and pulled some points and polygons around and got it to fit onto the car. Alright? So that's all this is. And then what we do is go ahead and add our dynamics to the proxy object. So in my case, I've added a soft body to it, and I made a number of changes here and that's just something you can play with to get whatever you would like. I also came over to the Dynamics tab and put an initial linear velocity of negative 1500 in Z. So basically that's telling my model or my proxy object that I want it to go in this direction towards the wall, negative Z. Alright. I came to the collision I turn my bounce to 5, friction to 60 percent, and again this is going to change depending on your scene. But here's what I get with my settings. So if I hit play, alright, so you can see how it sort of crashes into the wall. It sort of keeps its deformation, and that is because of the elastic limit set to 1. So the lower this is set, the more this is going to keep its deformation. But that's basically how I set up the scene. Now, what do we do now? Well, let's go over here and see how we can transfer the data that we have here on the proxy object to the actual car. So I'm going to come over and I'm going to grab my mesh. I want to take that, I'm going to put that in to the hierarchy with the car. If we check this, we can see that it's looking for something here in this dialog box, and it's looking for our proxy object. So I'll take the proxy object, I'll pop it in there. Let's go to Advanced, change the external to Surface Area, and then we're just going to hit Initialize, and watch what happens over here. Okay. So now we are ready to actually have the car be deformed by hitting the wall. Let's go ahead and hit play. All right. Let's just go up here. Take a look at that. And we do have deformation on our car. All right. And right now I have my tune shader turned on, so that's why we're getting this, but I can come up here, turn that off. And there we go. All right. So all I did in my scene after that was put some physical sky in here. I put a put a uh, morph camera in here. Turn that on. Let's just go back to the beginning. And I had something like this. Go ahead and render that out. All right. So that's basically how you set up a proxy object when you're working with your dynamic simulations here in Cinema 4D. I'm Chris Martin with FreeFX Tutorials, and I'll see you next time.